Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at managed switches. So um, by default you don't need to configure anything on a switch. Um, data just sort of passes through um, as you connect devices. But um, if you want to manage a switch remotely, for example, we're going to need to assign an IP address to um, the interface VLAN 1. So that's what we're going to go through in this exercise um, today. Okay, so we'll set up a very small um, network with two PCs um, and two switches. Okay, so again, good practice, copper crossover when um, when devices are the same, when devices are different, copper straight through. It's, it's a good way of remembering which one to use. Okay, so if we hover over a switch, for example, you'll see that there's no IP addresses currently assigned to any of these ports and all of them um, except um, fast ethernet zero slash one and fast ethernet zero slash two, which we have um, we've plugged cables into, um, they're all down by default. So everything is, is down. Um, it, also the same on the PC. If you sort of hover over that, you'll notice there's no IP address associated to um, the PC, PC at the moment. So we'll, we'll sort that bit out first. So if we click on PC and go to uh, config, or you can also do it through desktop and IP configuration. So we'll put um, an IP address in here, just for the time being, um, 1.1. It, it, it pulls through this, the default subnet mask um, for us because this is a typical class C um, IP address. So that's sort of giving an IP address to the PC. Um, and if you hover over it, it sort of shows it now in the in the IP address field. So that's a static IP address. So we've man manually done that. Okay. So if we sort of good practice again, get a, get a console connection into the switch. And then go into our terminal. Okay, so let's just sort of recap from the last video and put um, a, a message of the day on here again. Configure terminal. Okay. We'll just put a simple one on for this activity. So I'll go away and then we can see the messages here um, go away. Okay, so um, just sort of a, that's just a bit of a recap from the last video of putting a, a message on the day on there. Okay, so um, if we look at the startup configuration again, so sort of again going off the last um, the last lesson. So if we go startup config, you'll notice there's no configuration file present. Um, if we go show running config, so the configuration that's stored in, in, in RAM, um, we'll notice that um, as we go down to the bottom, um, there's no IP address associated with VLAN 1 currently, so we need to change that to enable it for for remote connections. Okay, so um, how we do that is if we start from the beginning again, so enable. configure terminal um, and then we want to select that that port so we're going to go interface VLAN 1 so now we're now we're into that port so we're going anything we do now is going to configure um, um, set, set configurations within that port so we're going to give it an IP address so IP address 192.168.1.1 so we dot one dot two five three, and we need to give it a subnet mask as well. It should be two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. So def the default uh, class C um, IP address. Okay, so we've assigned an IP address to it. Now we need to um, we need to uh, change the status to up. So we need to enter no shutdown because, like I say, by default this port will be uh, will be off. Okay, so that's then ch now changed it to up. Okay, so if we now go back, 
again and show um, running config. So show running config and go down to the bottom. Um, now VLAN one has got um, got an IP address. Um, so that's what we've we've achieved there. Um, so if I start again and so let's, let's copy that configuration um, to the from, from running startup to, to uh, sorry from running config to startup config. So if I go copy running config startup config destination file name by default. Yeah. Okay. So click click and uh, so hit enter. So now we've transferred that from from RAM to the non volatile RAM to to MV RAM. So. Um, now when we click the type slut show flash, you'll notice that that text files there, the configurations that we've that we've changed um, have been um, sort of drafted into a text file. Um, so if we power this switch down now, then um, the changes are made such as the VLAN IP address and the and the banner will be stored um, in the non-volatile RAM ready for, for a reboot, for, for example. Okay, so if we um, come out of that and just hover over the switch now you'll also notice at the bottom there that it's got an IP address um, and the, the link is, is to up so if we just test if we can 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 uh, make a connection between this PC and this switch we should we should be able to so on the PC just go to command prompt and then on the type ping and 169 192.168.1.253 I think the IP address of that of that port was click ping we should get um, a, a so we've got a reply. So the first, the first, um, the first attempt will time out because it's never been on this route before, um, so it's got to learn the route. But if we do it again, we should get all four. So one now two dot one six eight dot one dot two five three. Okay, so here we've got all four, um, four sent, four received, zero loss. Okay.